We get up early in the morning, make coffee, rush breakfast. At 8 a.m. we start our first Zoom call of the day. We strategize, plan, meet, talk, write. And even when we finish work, there is so much to do. And maybe when we are lucky, we have a few moments in the evening for the latest Netflix movie before we fall into bed exhausted. Being passive is the last thing we are. Or are we? Hi, my name is Kai and in this video you will gain clarity on why passivity is so hard to spot, what signs of passivity are and how you can move from being passive to having much more energy in life. In order to know why passivity is so hard to spot, first of all we have to define passivity for ourselves. And it is the compulsion to do the opposite of what we say we want. Sounds crazy, right? And yet we see all the signs of passivity in self-sabotage, deferring our dreams into the future. And when we pursue the opposite of what we actually want, there are always some logical arguments for it. We see ourselves as an artist, maybe we like painting, maybe we like making videos, and yet we see a lot of starving artists and so we justify to ourselves that getting fully engaged into that just isn't a good idea. Or we say to ourselves that, hey, I'm 35 years old and that guy I just met, he's not the perfect catch, but I'm not getting any younger either. Or we say we want to write and we have kids, so we don't really have the quiet space to do that. Maybe one day when I retire. And all the while we keep busy with the things that other people tell us are the right things to do, rather than pursuing our dreams. So if you find yourself either half in or half out of a relationship or an idea, if you find yourself deferring what you actually want to do into the future, when you find yourself in self-doubt about your abilities, then it is quite likely that you are passive, even though you could be incredibly busy in your life. Let me be clear, passivity has nothing to do with being lazy or procrastinating. It has everything to do with, for example, being half in and half out of relationships, with having self-doubt about our abilities and the tendency to defer something that we actually really want to do into the future. And that can cause a lot of sadness. Let me be honest with you, in a lot of cases, I still feel passive myself. Because yes, I pursue some of my dreams and I do some of the things that I want to do. And yet there are always things in the back of my mind where other people say, hey, you should be doing this or you should be doing that or you shouldn't spend too much time on this particular activity. And we all have that. But once you become aware of this tendency, you also have a way of dealing with it. So here are three ways that helped me combat passivity and helped me to re-energize my life as well. The first one is to remember who you wanted to be. See, we all have those dreams as children about what we envisage our life to be. And once we start a job, once we get into a career, once we have a little bit of success in whatever we do, we keep forgetting that. Because now everything seems so obvious. We have a career path that we set on towards and we seek that next promotion and we seek the next step up in the organization. We seek to deepen our skills in that particular area and that's all well and good if that is something that you truly enjoy. But many of us get stuck in that same rut, in that same routine, regardless of whether we enjoy it or not. So do remember what you want it to be and think about ways how you can revitalize that specific thought. Once you know, you have to stop lying to yourself. And maybe you say, hey, I'm not lying to myself. I have real obligations. I have real reasons and obstacles that I have to deal with. But maybe this following question may help you. What do I get from staying where I am? We have to silence our distractions about money, children, work, parents, friends, and self-talk. See, all these different aspects of our life keep us where we are today 
and sometimes there are really good reasons. Sometimes there are even things that make us happy. But we have to stop lying to ourselves and sometimes we have to silence those distractions and get real with ourselves. What would I actually gain by staying where I am today? And what would I gain from pursuing what I really want to do? And the third thing that helped me re-energizing is to think about what value I can create for others. Maybe you have a dream, but the easiest way to share this dream is by teaching, by sharing, by mentoring, or by creating. So if you find a way to create something, to teach something that interests you, regardless of whether that makes you money, but just for the pure purpose of sharing your passion with somebody else, you are already on your way to re-energize your life, to get out of passivity and to be a protagonist in your life. Let me be clear, we can't do anything we want to do. We are all born into different circumstances with different traits, with different personalities and with different skills. But there is one thing that we all can do and that is using those skills to create the life that we truly want. Except that many of us don't do that. Many of us, once we start working, forget about those dreams. And it is not until we are stopped by some external force. Maybe it is an illness. Maybe it is unemployment. Maybe it is, like last year, the pandemic, that we stop and look at ourselves again, look at our dreams that we have, and maybe recognize that we can take a slightly different direction. I'm convinced that a lot of the obstacles that we see are made up in our minds, and that with the right attitude and with the passion and with the energy that we find from pursuing our dreams, we can actually overcome those obstacles. And through this channel and my consulting practice, I wish that you can look beyond your personal obstacles and barriers. And if you want to do that, then first of all, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps the channel and I appreciate it. And if you want to learn more, then consider subscribing as well. And if you want even more, then there is a link in the description box below for a free call where we can discuss how you envisage your life before you forgot. Mm -hmm.